Use the information provided to answer Part A and Part B for question 32. Greg bought four notebooks for six dollars and forty cents. Part A, which equation can be used to determine the price P, that's important, in dollars for one notebook? So I want to know which equation, an equation has an equal sign, can be used to figure out the cost of a notebook, and then they give me four answer choices. A, P divided by 4 equals 640. B, P divided by 640 equals 4. C, 4 times P equals 640. 640 times P equals 4. Hmm, well I'm going to start by defining each of my variables. So I want to know what does the variable mean and then what do each of the constants, the numbers mean in this problem. So over here I'm going to make a little chart. Alright, I know that P is the cost, so that's dollars, of one notebook. I'm going to call it an NB. Uh, let's see, what else do I know? Well, I know that four notebooks. So four is the number of notebooks, and 640 is the total cost. If P is the cost of the notebook, then I'm going to multiply the cost of one notebook times the number of notebooks, which would be four. So that means I'm going to have four times P. So the number of notebooks times the cost of one notebook. And once I do that, I will have the total cost, which I know is $6.40. Now I just need to go find the correct answer choice, which is C. Part A is answered, and now we're going to answer Part B. Part B, what is the price in dollars of one notebook? Enter your answer in the box. So normally you would take this test on a computer, and there's a little box right here that you would enter your answer in. All right, so part B depends on my answer to part A. So my answer to part A, 4P equals 640, is what I'm starting with. All right, so now this is just a one-step equation. I'm multiplying four times the cost of one notebook, and it's giving me the total cost of all the notebooks, which is 640. So in order to solve that, I need to do the inverse, or the opposite of multiplication to find the cost of one notebook. So the opposite of multiplying by four is going to be dividing by four. So I'm going to start by drawing a line down the middle and then I'm going to divide the left side of the equation by four. And whatever you do to the left side, you have to do to the right. So divide the right side of the equation by four. I'm going to draw a new line just to separate this for myself. So it's easier for me to see. All right, 4 divided by 4 is 1, so I just have P. There's my equal sign. That's why I draw the line down the middle, so I know to keep the equal sign there. And then 640 divided by 4. So that means the cost of one notebook is $1.60. Now you can double check your work, which is always a good idea. And I got 640, which means that I am correct. One important thing to remember with these two-part questions is that 
you could still get credit for part B if you solved correctly for whatever answer you picked up here for part A. So even if you chose the incorrect answer for part A, if you solved the equation correctly and found the value of P for the equation that you chose, you would still get credit for part B. So even if you're unsure, it's always good to still go ahead and solve part B because you can at least get partial credit for your answer.